Hey y'all, it's Jeremy French here in the field, Grasslands Wildlife Biologist for Quail Forever and Southeastern Grasslands Initiative. We're here in the field today at a gorgeous roadside remnant, here to bring you your wildflower of the week. Now just a heads up, this is a roadside remnant, so you may hear some cars in the background, but we're going to try and get some great audio and some great footage for you anyways. So, today's wildflower of the week or this week is ashy sunflower get a good view of that or helianthus mollus is the scientific name now as you can see it's got this beautiful yellow bloom at the top if we look at the surrounding plants they haven't really started blooming just yet so we're a little bit early in the game but that's okay we also look it's got this ashy green color to it the stem if we focus in here is has a lot of hair on it it's pretty hairy it's got a lot of pubescence same thing for the leaf um, you can also hear it's kind of kind of scratchy I think it feels a lot like stock paper um, and you can see they kind of come together at the stem there um, and they tend to grow in clusters really pretty plant now some cool things about these plants are they're great for, for our native pollinators. They're used by bumblebees and leaf cutter bees and, and metallic bees and, and tons and tons of bees. But they're also used um, similarly to how a monarch uses milkweeds. This plant is uh, used by checker spots, silvery checker spots and specifically um, for their caterpillars. And the caterpillars will feed on their, their leaves here. Another really cool thing about this plant is it also provides a great seed source. If we look at this seed head there. Um, and all throughout the country, it's utilized by different grass and birds. So this plant can be found as far west as, as Nebraska, um, parts of Texas, and then all the way to the east coast. And out, out west, pheasants will select for these seeds or, or even prairie chickens, um, but here, in, in the Mid-South, quail absolutely love ashy sunflower seeds, as well as your eastern meadowlarks um, and a lot of your, your grassland birds. And even further than that, the leaves actually provide a really good deer browse, um, as well as small mammal browse as well. So it, it's a really good powerhouse plant to have, whether in your, your backyard upon your plantings or in, in your prairie restorations. Um, interesting enough, this plant was also historically used to be a fever reducer. They would cook it down um, and, and use it in teas to try and reduce fever. And even there's some record of it trying to be used as, as a malaria treatment. So super interesting. Let's take another look here. Unfortunately, these plants are pretty rare in Middle Tennessee. Um, they're kind of a high quality habitat indicator. But there we go beautiful yellow blooms in the next week or so all these will be blooming and that is your wildflower of the week helianthus mollus or ashy sunflower